Hi everyone, it's Helen here. I hope you're all doing well. I can see that there's a few people um, here already. So welcome, you early birds, or am I a couple of minutes late? I'm not sure, but anyways, if, you're, if you can chat, say hi on chat. Let me know if my sound's okay as well. I've got my phone here just for um, the, uh, so I can see what you're writing. And I hope everyone's had a really good week. I've had a couple of weeks off. I had a very very busy July so I needed to take a little bit of time out just to get everything back on track, get myself back on track, get my house back on track and everything so I'm just going to do a little bit of chit chat just for a couple of minutes so if you're watching on the replay you can just skip ahead if you don't want to kind of take part but here is um, what um, I'll be working on today and if you if you are hearing some funny noises, um, I do have some of my windows open, so it's very hot um, at the moment. We're having a mini heat wave at the moment, so all the neighbours are out in their gardens and making a little bit of noise, but um, there's actually no quiet time of day here until it gets dark. So during the daytime we have like kids and families in their gardens, and then we have like the evening people as well. So anyway it's nice to hear everyone's having a good time so hi sherry hi denise so we've got um De uh, sherry she's from texas is it sheree or sherry i know that um over the pond some names are pronounced slightly different but yes thank you i needed to take a really good pause uh, back in the autumn i i hit uh, i hit a mini burnout so um, I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, reach that again. Don't want to burn out again. So I just want to, you know, take things in my stride, slow down when I need to take a break after a hugely busy month, and then I can get back to it really. So I've been really excited about this one, and there's a couple of offers on as well. So I'm going to quickly show you some of the offers they end today which is a saturday so if you are watching this on a sunday or after this the offers won't be there but have a look in the special offers section at craft stash and i'm sure there's there's going to be something there that's going to um you know make you smile so the first one is a series of discounts that um that go up a few levels so i'll pop that poster up now Okay, so we have the 15% off and the 30 and the 20, the 20, I think it was. So um, there are discount codes there. That is actually on the, um, the Craft Stash webpage if you need to get those discounts. And down below are all the things that we're going to be using today. So everyday journaling, um, this is my first time using these dies. This is by Helen Colebrook and I've been looking at these for a very long time. Now, I'm not exactly a planner girl, but I know it does overlap with a lot of mini album things. So I'm gonna be doing a mini album themed project today, and I'm gonna be using the gift papers that come with Creative Stamping Issue 85. So, um, there's a bit of glue there. So that's all going to be listed down below and at the moment everyday journaling now this ends to, um, today as well because last week I wanted to do this but I was not really you know feeling too you know too well so um, I missed the planning day so it was it was a planner day I think it was international planner day so I missed that um, because this was going to be last Saturday's project but the offer for this was part of the planner day and I'll pop that up now So that's 40% off everyday journaling and that ends midnight tonight BST, the British summer time. Um, so if, again, if you're watching on the replay, this discount won't count after midnight tonight. So um, let's get started. So we're gonna be using this here as our main die and then I'm gonna be using some of these other dies here as accessories and everyday journaling, she has so much out there. So um, I absolutely love this collection, which is the Travel Vintage Paper Pack. Now I use that on my hexagonal exploding box. Um, so that, uh, that has actually sold out. And I think the camera box is gonna be one of the next ones to go. 
Okay, so here we have a stamp set here, some lovely like travel themed uh, sentiments. They're actually going to be, they're not sentiments, but they're phrases and, and words and things that are going to be perfect for your journaling if you're into that. And also these are perfect for mini albums as well. Then we have some washi tapes and then we also have some uh, stickers as well. So we're going to be saving these for another day. So we're just going to be working on these dice here and also the um, these papers here. You also get a stamp set as well with tropical themes there but I'm just going to be using the papers and I've already cut out most of the things I'm going to be using so let me just uh, I'm ignoring you guys I don't like to do that so I'm going to quickly read some of the comments again hi Kim and hi Susan and Cherie like the like the cherry like the sherry oh the sherry sherry cherry okay it's sherry okay Okay, so if, if you're listening on here, just pop on, say hi. I, I love to chat and chit chat, as you may well have uh, worked out. Okay, so these are the lovely papers here, and I've already cut out a whole bunch of bits and bobs here, and the page die, which I have here, is a five size. So I'll be showing you a quick trick on how to get that through your die cutting machine. It will go through a standard size Big Shot, but I would recommend using a larger one because it will be extremely difficult to get that through. This will this will go right up to, let me quickly show you. Sometimes it's a lot easier to show you. So this is my platform here. You may have an extended one as well. As you can see, this fits on here literally just fits on here i have a magnetic one so it's going to move about a bit so when you run things through your big shot and you have something right up to this edge here the feeding edge where it goes through this is going to have a lot of trouble getting started to going through i normally pop my dies a bit further down here but then we lose the bottom section there so you possibly can actually get this through however it's going to be very difficult for you to turn your lever and it will be very uh, jumpy as well as there's going to be a lot of big big bangs going through there um, I did that earlier just to see if I could and I went I went back to my Gemini for this one so I would definitely recommend a large format die cutting machine for that so that is my reason for why I'm recommending that and where was I um, I think we're going to just jump straight in, so I'm going to read some of the comments. Hi Craig. Ah uh, yes, so, so uh, he's been wondering what to do with the magazine and now knows what to do. I mean, when I saw these papers, I was instantly, you may have seen um, one of my craft hauls where I did this magazine. Uh, I had a quick flick through it and I just knew straight off that I wanted to use these for a mini album. And they're double sided as well, so this this project here is perfect for this because you get to use both sides of the page as well that you don't have to lose one side by um, gluing one side down and losing the other so I love this pattern here with the butterflies and the bugs and I also love the one on the other side so I'm not going to lose both sides and you also get some cut apart as well okay so hi Bor and hi Anna Anna from Germany Bor is from Wisconsin Midlands, uh, Craig's from the Midlands. Robin is from the Grand Blanc, ah, uh, Michigan. Hi, Sharon. And I think I've said, I've said, I think I said hello to Kim. Hi, Kim. I'll say hi again. And hi, Jill as well from Virginia. Okay, let's get into this now because that's been uh, ten minutes of chit chat, and I think I was one minute late. So I'm going to be using some foundations cardstock this is my favorite it's by creative expressions and it's called foundations and i think this shade is called aqua but again it's all listed down below and i'm using these dies here that's 40 percent off at the moment and i'll just reiterate all of the discount codes um that are on craft stash at the moment for the journaling and for the uh up to 30% off offer those end tonight at midnight so I just want to make sure that you're all aware of that and you don't go shopping tomorrow and there's no discounts there okay so we're going to be cutting this out first so I'm going to quickly show you an easy way I've got most of this already cut out already so I'm just going to be doing all of the important bits that you want to see okay so what I've done here 
is I have my tape on the back side and I have it facing up so the sticky side is here so I just need to move this in slightly so it's not sticking off the edge okay so the thing is A5 is exactly half the size of A4 and I just need to make sure that I'm in frame here what I'm showing you I'll go sideways that might be easier okay so if my I, actually I do have my fan on at the moment so if you can hear my fan please let me know and I'll I will turn it off it does mean I might roast but if it's too noisy okay so the, the thing is that this is a5 and it's half the size directly with a with an a4 so I can just pop this on here so I have my sticky facing up so I'm just going to pop this perfectly top and bottom is all lined up here and then I'm just going to press down on the tape and then that is perfectly in place so it's just going to cut the line here and the holes there and I'll be showing you what we're going to be using for the binding in a moment there's so much for me to remember today and let's grab the dies again there are some other things here you can actually run this through twice and pop this one in again but I'm just going to be strategic with my die cutting and I'm going to cut out some extra bits so I've already cut out some pockets now these pockets also come with the matte dies as well and I've also cut out some tags as well we've got two shapes of tags so I am using three die sets let's give you some names of what I'm using this is the journal essentials die set and I'm also using the wedding planner so this is wedding themed but as you can see this is going to be perfect for summer spring birthdays anything there's nothing too wedding -y about it so I absolutely love this um, tab there as well and we also have the seasonal journaling die set now again this this uh, can be used any time of year we've only got two seasonal Christmassy things here at the holly so we have one two three four five six seven other things that you can use for the rest of the year so I'm going to be using that as well okay so let's fish out the bits we're going to be needing from this one I'm not too sure if I'm going to need another pocket so I'm going to do I was going to do a tall tag but it kind of comes off the edge there so I'll put that onto a different piece of A4 so I'm just going to run this through as is so I'm going to be using my Gemini today that takes A4 that is going to run through just like that got quite dark actually just looking at the lighting but I'm hoping that's still okay Okay, so Sherry says she doesn't hear any fan noise, that's good. I've got it on the lowest setting. Okay. I'm just trying to get the chat to work on my phone because the chat has stopped working on my phone. So, I think maybe I'll come out and come back in saves me looking all the way ah oh, there we go I've got all the chat back now okay so that has cut out perfectly at a5 so you're going to be needing to cut out one for the front and one from the back and then any that you want in the middle so these are all of my preps that I've done so far so I have this as my front cover. I'm going to pop this at the 
the back that's going to be my back cover and I've got some chipboard as well I'll be showing you what I'll be doing with the chipboard yep okay so I've cut out already I did the, exactly the same as what I've just done with this page here with all of the the papers from the magazine now these are all these all go really well together and again if you want to add the stamp set in as well so I've added a couple of these ones again so I'm just letting you see all of the patterns here because I've already cut them out I can't really show you until this stage so and a lot of them are on repeat you can you get two two of each pattern and then we're out the back so what are we going to be using to pop these together I have some book binding rings here and now these are a little bit different because they are joined together so and they all open up individually just like that so obviously I saw these and I thought oh, mini album okay so these are a standard size so they're going to fit into these ring these holes here so everything's made to standard okay so I'm gonna pop these aside that is what we're going to be using and I think it's a pack of ten I have linked them down below but they are like a pack of ten there so I'll be using two per album I've got a mess here I, I need to get some surgical spirit and just clean everything off okay so let's work on our front cover okay so I have here piece of chipboard which is like like grey board um, if you have any old 12 by 12 pads or paper pads this is the kind of boarding that you get at the back so just take that off or you can buy a pack I, I buy mine from eBay actually that's the best place for me to actually buy them from and what I've done is I've cut it down to size and I've glued on a piece of the patterned paper and that is what is going to make our front cover and then there's also some cutter parts in the paper pack as well so I'm going to pop that on that is going to be my front cover so let's quickly take some measurements and then I'll get this cut out so you need to cut this down to eight inches by five so let's do that so eight inches by five so I do have an update on my chickens all three are now laying in the last two weeks two weeks ago they weren't laying at all now we're getting three eggs a day so we have three chickens and yes my this is my favorite paper cutter it does the chipboard as well as paper that's five by eight so yeah we're having a lot of fun at first they weren't laying inside their hen house um, but they've they have all started to lay in the hen house now so it was quite fun at first because we were it was like search for the egg find the eggs it was quite the kids loved it looking for the eggs every, you know all the morning wondering whether they've actually laid anything okay so i did actually cut this one out but i decided i'm going to use this as the the cover for that so i'm going to use glue but i would recommend double-sided tape for this because then you can go right up to the edge of the tape and you won't have anything peeling away so I'm just going to be quick here and I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I have no idea whether this is um, back in stock or not. I'm thinking maybe the, the smaller one is still in stock. Okay, so I'm just pressing everything down. I'm just going to grab a craft knife now. And then just trim the edges of that this is going to be for the back page just pressing down everything because I use glue just making sure everything is down okay Uh, Robin's asking am I selling what we don't eat we're, we're managing the three eggs a day and I do have a couple of extra that I can put in cakes and, and other things that need egg recipes if I had more chickens I would probably just give them away to uh, friends and family and stuff so 
Yes, Sherry, I agree. Um, she said she loves making journal journals, but I'm the worst at using them. Um, I tend to just make what I'm going to use. So I'm, I am going to put photos in this one particularly. Okay, so that is now down. So let's get all these glued on now. So I have my two covers here. So let's, oh no, that's the leftover. Let's get this glued down. This is going to be my back cover. So I don't want my, I don't think there is a possibility of these lemons being upside down. So this is going to be the back. The thing is with planners, when you're working on your front and back cover, you kind of have things in the opposite orientation. Where is it? I've lost one. There we are. Okay. So this is going to be the back. This is going to be the front. Just like that. Okay, so let's get those glued on. Oh no, Debbie's saying the 30 mil is out of stock. Oh, hi Debbie, I don't think I've said hi to you yet. Do, I mean, do they have any Cosmic Shimmer in stock? Again, use double-sided tape. I would use the red tape for this. And I didn't do this. I did it on this one, and I'll do this right now. I have a brush. I'm just grabbing Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Because we have the bare sides here, so which I don't really want to be too visible. What would work really well is if you had a turquoise uh, ink pad. I do have that, but I just naturally just reach for Vintage Photo that's just going to ink the edges there, it kind of disguises it really, just makes it blend into the rest of the album. Debbie says the large one's back. There you go. That's uh, how much is that? 125. Okay, let's get this one glued down. Have to be quick with my glue. It is oh, 28 degrees Celsius in here. I have my little thing here, right, 28 degrees, how do I make this, I know I could, there we go, Fahrenheit, 82 Fahrenheit, I'm sure to some of you that's not very hot, but I assure you, for me, that likes to, um, that likes the colder climates, that's a little, it's a little too hot. Okay. So let's pop on the lid for this before it dries out because I have had the glue dry out on me super fast in this heat before. Okay, this is the front cover now, so I'm gonna use some foam backing, foam tape, which I have here. So let's get that popped on and I'm gonna use my, I like having everything to hand. I do, it's kind of fun having everything out to hand so you don't actually have to go rooting for stuff everything's just there in front of me so I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz scissors here these are the non-stick ones so when I'm using tapes and pads and things like that it's not going to gunk up my scissors and if it does ha happen to happen to your scissors just use some surgical spirit and that will clean it off Ah, Debbie's saying the light must be making me hotter. She's in the dark. So Robin says she turns on the AC when it gets to 75. I mean, my, my perfect temperature is around about 21. I start to malfunction when it gets a little bit higher, uh, a, bit, a bit hotter than that. 
but yeah my perfect temperature is around about 21 that's that's what we have our heating set to in the winter is 21 okay I'm keeping everything super simple that is kind of my style anyway contemporary uh, minimalist I guess maybe I'm sure there's a name for it okay so here is our front here is our back and here we have all of our middles so now we're ready to start putting this sandwich together because it is it's going to be a sandwich okay so I'm gonna have all of my papers here I have everything in the order I want them in I'm going to grab my ring binders here if you want to you can come back to this part just to replay it again you may need to if you kind of forget this because there is an order to doing this if you want these bars hidden inside the book so I'm just going to pop all of these on I just need to there we go line everything up try and get everything through so that is the first one I'm not closing them up yet because we're doing another layer pop that one through as well and again this will work with these rings will work with their planner punch if you have a planner punch this is just one way of doing it okay so now I'm going to pop on my front cover there we go then here is the back cover I'm going to turn it over so that they're facing and then I'm going to pop that on you're probably wondering if I'm a little bit crazy but it will all make sense in a moment okay so that is my sandwich so I have my pages my front cover facing up and my back cover facing down and then we're going to close all of these up if these are a bit tough for you maybe ask somebody else to do them for you kind of have to kind of push push them away from each other just to get that latch on there we go so now we have the bar here it's on the inside now so we take the back page and we work it round and that makes the bar disappear inside here at the back there we go so there is our album I mean, if you want to stop there you have yourself like a junk journal you can make this as a junk journal especially using those um those planner dies if you don't get on with those planner punches you know you know which ones i mean i think i have one i do i don't know if it if it's easily accessible no i think i've put it away away anyways i do have one of those punches where you pull out the thing and you get the size right and then you punch it one side you turn it round you punch it the other side whereas this is so much easier just to run the die straight through and you have all of your pages done okay so let's start decorating so I'm gonna leave that as it is that's gonna be my like my feature page so we're gonna move on to this one now so here I have let's read some of your comments while I start gluing something some things down I'm also going to grab my big shot out as well just my little big shot just to cut out some of these mats here we have layering mats for the tags and everything so everything has been thought of um, what was I doing I was reading comments wasn't I I'm going to be using a bone folder as well. I've just cut these out, so again, bone folder, best friend. Just press everything down. There we go, that is sitting a lot flatter. This one has been pressed down with my bone folder, this one's just been folded down like that. So this one is lower 
than that one so bone folders are really good yeah so susan just had a massive shopping spree i bet that was enjoyable i do like having little shopping sprees it's kind of exciting when the postman gets here Oh, she got some Simply Made Craft stuff too, and some of Sam's stuff. I hope the I hope it arrives early next week. Yeah, Chloe says she prefers the cooler weather too. It's just so much nicer when you're not too hot. Okay, so here we have our first pocket down and I'm going to do some die cutting as well in a moment but I want to get a few things down first let's pop in some pockets then I'm just going to press stuff down I don't, I don't really want to rush through this either so uh, I know that this is the length of that so it's A5 in height so I'm going to have to put one of my pockets right down at the bottom but you can trim this so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pop this right at the bottom there. Okay, so these pockets are from the other die set. These are from, I'm working with Journal Essentials die set now, and again, this will work in your traveler's notebooks as well there we go so I have my pocket now and this is going to fit inside there that's just going to poke out the top and it also comes with a mat here that's going to give you a little bit of a stitching detail that is going to mat in there perfectly so if you have photographs or anything like that, you can cut your tags out and then you can use the coordinating mat dies just to mat inside the center. And I have a feeling these are gonna fit inside the hexagonal um, gift box as well. Let's have a try. This is just out of curiosity now. This is where I, my mind starts to wonder. Let's have a little play. So you probably need to get back to the tutorial. <laughs> okay, let's see if these fit. Yes, these do fit here. So let's have a look at the next one. So here we have, this has sold out, but we're trying to get it back in stock, stock as soon as possible. So this fits in there. It does. This one is, yeah, the same height. So that should fit in there too. And again, you get a map die. So if you already have this die set, this this will work quite nicely with all of these little tags and things let's pop this away pop you back in yeah so these are the papers that i've used as well where did i put them here we are this is the thoughts on travel. So it's lovely Eiffel Tower there in the roses. Okay, so let's put in one more pocket. Where should we have the next pocket? I kind of want my pockets to be, aha, this is going to be nice. This is gonna be a pocket that I'm going to enjoy doing. Yes, I do get like that. I get to a certain stage in the album where I know I'm gonna enjoy doing a certain thing. I know I'm not alone in that one. So Chloe, Chloe's saying she's recently got the mini and midi album die sets. Keep eyeing up more, trying to be good. Yes, the mini album die set is brand new size of the mini album. So I think that's going to be one of my next um, projects. Okay, so I'm going to pop this either put it here or on here I'm going to use a matching I'm going to mat this it's like last minute plan we all does anybody else do that 
you're about to put something down and you think, oh, actually, actually, this will look nice. I'm thinking I have a page here, so let's cut that, cut that down to size and then pop that on there and then we can mat that with another lemon shape. So this is, so you're going to be getting some of my thought processes here on how I decorate things. I'm trying to make myself some room here. Let's grab the ruler, we're going to need some measuring now. So let's go for a seven seven by four and a half that seems like a good size just make up the sizes as you go because that's what I do four and a half by seven there we go Okay, so I'm going to glue this down now, hoping this hasn't dried up. Okay, and I'm going to pop the pocket there. to do is get find the mat now for this pocket here it is I could probably put my big my Gemini away now so I'm gonna do that just to make myself a, a little bit of uh, room on my desk okay I'm gonna have my big shot it's just going to be just to the left of me here there's lots of tiny dies in here so you can either keep it in this little bag here or you can get yourself um, a magnetic sheet that will fit inside the, the packaging so that you can see everything okay so this is the the mat there for the pocket and then I have these little ones here these are for the other bits and bobs so I'm just going to grab out what I can I think I have one missing no do I uh, there it is it was upside down and there are a couple of other guys that I'm going to show you in a moment we're just going to work on our pocket because I keep getting distracted by pretty things Okay, so I'm just moving over to my papers now. I'll find that lemon. Do I have any more? That's the pre that's the question. I think the lemon one is probably one of my favourites. Oh, there's no lemon there. I wonder if I have any more around here. I think. I think I've used all the lemon up now, so we're going to go for a different colour. What should we go for? I think this one, that will look nice. There we go. Decision made. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run that through. So this is another one of those really easy mini albums where you can get the the skeleton of it put together so all you have to do is put your effort into decorating okay I was wrong I was wrong but I'm going to make an amendment so this doesn't actually cut it out I thought it cut it out but it doesn't it does the stitched line so I have a nice guide now, I can go around and I can just cut that out. 
and I'm not afraid to use my scissors either to cut a line. I'm just going to go straight across here. There we go. And then I'm just going to follow the dotted line all the way around. There we go. Not too shabby. And then we'll pop that onto there. There we go. Let's get that on. So Sherry's asking, do I ever use Graphic 45? Um, I don't think I have actually. I think I have, I have one Graphic 45. I mean, in the UK it's, um, it's harder to come by, I think. I mean, you have to find a, a specialist shop, I think, that will sell it. I know Craft Stash do do a couple of graphic 45 things, but not, not everything is to my taste. Only some of it is, so... I'm more of um, a Kaiser Craft style. This is quite Kaiser Craft. You know, that's what um, I think that's Australian, I think that is. I love anything that Kaiser Craft do. Whereas I think Graphic 45 for me is a little bit hit and miss. Um, Chris is asking what glue I'm I had to take the sticker off because I was um on Hachanda, so they don't sell this glue, so we have to take the sticker off. Um this is cosmic shimmer glue. It dries clear, so don't let the name kind of confuse you. Um it dries really fast and it's super strong because it's acrylic it doesn't wrinkle your paper either so it's a it's definitely one of my favorite glues i also use collal as well um, i have that as my backup as my emergency glue okay so that is our first part done so we can pop our tags in here there we go. And we also have these tags here. These will fit in there. So maybe we can do another, should we do another pocket? Look, that's for the long one. We'll do this pocket here. Next. And again, I will be probably adding photographs to these ones as well. So those kind of disappear in there because they're all the same colour so let's choose some funky colours again I have back to my paper pack I've, I've pretty much this pleases me actually because I've pretty much killed it it's not much left to choose from so I'll probably end up going for one of these uh, off cuts down here I think yes I will go for that pattern there so it, it does actually feel really good to actually get to the point where you've almost used up an entire paper pad because you know you don't have to put it back in and store half of it back in, or back on your shelf because I do that and it just gets forgotten okay let's pop this we're going to do the same trick again I'm going to cut that out with my scissors but I will have those dotted lines as a guide. I'm not going to cut the dotted lines off. I'm cutting outside of the dotted lines. So the, dot, the dotted line, I'm saying that a lot. So the stitch lines are still going to be on there. Hoping the lighting's still okay. It has pretty much... It's almost dark outside now. So it was daylight when I started. and maybe I'll just use my smaller scissors. I have all of my scissors up there. I never put scissors away, they're all in pots, so anything that I reach for regularly is in a pot, so I can just grab it. Okay, and that is going to pop onto there.
kind of looks good the other side too. So yeah, tomorrow's looking like it's going to be just as hot. I think next week we have thunderstorms forecast, so that'll be good. That'll be quite nice, and I think the temperature will go down a lot after that as well. Okay, so now we have our pockets for that too. Okay, so I'm ready now to start on the big jumbo pocket. So I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock. Oh no, I've put my Gemini away. So I, it's still accessible, it's not a way away. I keep everything ready to use. I just need to swap over. There we go, ready to go. Okay, so plates. And using this long die here, I'm going to tape it both sides, I'd say. Okay, let's run that through. that a lot don't I? Okay right. I'm sure I must have had a teacher at school that, that said that a lot. Oh, that's taken off a bit of surface area but never mind. So this is going to pop into this one and what I'll probably do is just do a matching mat that matches this paper and I'll repeat it on there but you've seen me do that twice now so you don't need to see me do that one again okay so again this is going to be there's absolutely loads of space here for photographs loads of space okay moving on to the next die set now so I'm gonna just have a quick tidy up oh there was something I wanted to show you from here it was uh, this die here, this is from the same die set, uh, de -de -de -de. this one, Journal Essentials die set. This is, if your pa pages are quite thin like mine are, you can always use this just on the edge here, which I'm going to do for this one. just on the edge there that is just going to strengthen the edge so let's get that glued on and again you can use this as a positioner if you have let's pretend this is a photograph you know you can kind of just rest it underneath if you chop that off there and you can just anchor your photograph onto the page that way oh I've probably got the lid off that Uh, Chloe's asking what tape I'm using for my dies. I'm using um, it's a Crafters Companion tape. It's a low tack tape. I will show you in a moment. I'm just going to get this glued down. There we go. I've got a bit of glue, excess glue there, but that is really going to strengthen the page edges as you turn so let's get this book back the right way around so there we have a nice sturdy page now for turning okay so the tape i'm using it was a pack of three i've dropped it on the carpet um it's a pack of three and it's it's a low tack tape but you still kind of need to just work it with your fingertips just to take some of the extra sticky off otherwise what happens is you will get some of your 
things lifting off. Um, another thing you can use is um, like the porous, like you know, in first aid kits you get tape like this. You could use that as well, or low tack painters tape, which is like the, the purple or the blue stuff as well. So you just go into a DIY store and and get that as well. Okay, so the other cool thing I wanted to show you from that die set before I pop that one away are these tags here. These are really super cool. I love these. So here they are. You have this one here and you have this one there. Now these tuck onto the tops of your pages just like that. Isn't that so cool? Index tabs. I love these. Okay, so let's pop another one on. This one is the arrow. Just pops on like that there we go isn't that cool this one slides all the all the way down completely and this one here pops out and stays out over the top okay so let's quickly pop these away and then I think I have just enough time to have a little play with the third die set as well so let's get all these I'm just gonna pop these in here I can tidy up later isn't that what we all say? I'll tidy up later. It can wait. Okay, so let's move over to this one. This one is the seasonal journaling die set. But again, as I said, there's only two Christmas themed dies in here, so you can use it all year round. And again, the everyday journaling has 40% off the dies and stamp sets and the papers, just the whole range. Um, has 40% off. That ends midnight tonight. Okay, so I'm going to be using another piece of cardstock for this one. Let's move this aside. We'll come back to this. Okay, so as you can see, the the rings are exactly the same and then this one is going to pop into one of the top rings at the top to stop it wobbling. So let's get that glued down, not glued down, taped down. Okay. This will go through a normal size die cutting machine. I'd say that would go through a standard one. Um, here we go. It literally only just would though, lengthways. You may have trouble feeding that through. Another thing I quite like about this is you get a Polaroid one as well and the negative strips. So again this would work perfect as uh, if you use double sided uh, what do you call it double sided paper. Okay so this has got all the score lines done as well it's super super duper easy so all we gotta do use your bone folder press that down this is going to create a pocket page press that down and again do your last tab this is very me I love this glue Actually, I'm going to sit down. I keep standing up, but it's a lot more comfortable sitting down. There we go, I'm sitting down now. So this will be the last little bit I'll be doing today, crafty-wise anyway. So I'm just adding my glue to both of those tabs. And I'm pressing down. There we go. 
take care though when you're folding over your score lines that you do line everything up again your bone folder will be your best friend be for best friend be for bone folder okay so this has the full width there either side so you can slide um, a piece of pattern paper in there so that you get to see um, the let's see if I can I've got an off cut here so you can see that there's a jagged line here like it's been torn so let's pop that inside our album we we'll pop this one here so again you can even have it it doesn't you know actually no you would have to put another hole in there but that is designed for this bit there so let's open this up there we go This one was the tough one. I remember that from putting this together. Okay, right now just do the last one. There we go. There. And again, this is going to work with, this is gonna work with your other bits as well. I do have, ah, I've got making a mess here. I do have a red planner somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Here we go. I have. Uh, let me just take out the the private things. Oh no, they're stuck. There we go. Right. So this is going to work again with another A5 planner that I have so what year is that 2019 so it's gonna it's gonna work with that as well so I could take this out or I could make extras and pop them into any A5 planner with these rings here okay I've made a really big mess beside me. I don't know how I do it sometimes. I'm sure you're all the same. You're just like, where did that mess come from? Okay, so yes, yeah, so I, I actually really like this one. I've used the, the papers that you get in a magazine and three die sets that currently have 40% off. So, and the rest is just from my stash. And again, you can make this using a junk journal. And once you have these um, dies, you can mix these in. You can even mix the, some of these pockets and accessories in with my own um, mini album dies as well. So let's pop these away. I always keep this tape. I just stick it on my shelf. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get some trim down some magnetic sheets and pop those in there so I don't have every die in there I bought this I bought all of these things with my own money these dies so I wasn't sent these for free I I, I made the purchase myself because you see things you like and you want to get them Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> so many ideas, so much best. Yes. Uh, it's a struggle, isn't it? It is a struggle. But as long as I don't lose any dies from any of my die sets, I'm good. I'm good. So I do have some leftover off cuts here. So what I'm gonna what am I gonna do with those? I'm going to get a plastic wallet which I have. I have a spare one just here. Just these A4 thingies. I'm just going to pop those in there. That's going to keep all of my papers safe. Just like that. 
And then I'm going to grab the magazine now. Here we go. So this magazine does come with A4 stamp set and these stamps at the top here are from Stampendous, which I love Stampendous. And again, we've got the Monstera leaves here as well. Cheese plant, that's its nickname. Another cheese plant leaf up there. I love how they grow. They grow curled up. They grow in a long tube, all curled up. And then they just open out. It's amazing. So, yep. Yeah lovely lovely album here album magazine there's loads of ideas in here on what you can do with the stamp set as well loads of ideas so if you love stamping as well this is a perfect magazine as well so that is creative stamping issue 85 oh thank you kim loves mini albums and the camera box yes i have to agree with you madge i spend far too much as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all of this together. I might just pop the papers at the back, actually. Let's take this out. Pop the papers in the back. There we go. Now, if I do want to come back to this, it's all there. I'm just going to pop that on my bookshelf. It's all there now, ready to do the same project or start a different project. Because there's... This is nowhere near finished. I've got to add photographs and page mats, journaling. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have any photographs that are going to go with this. So if, if that happens to you, you can just pop your, convert your photos to black and white. There are so many different um, free resources online now that you can do that if you can't do that on your computer. So, um, and again, I have all of these to make more so I could make if you want me to create some more projects using these cool little things let me know down in the comments if you're watching on replay I'd love to hear your comments also as well so um, I think maybe my next project for these ones will probably be using a planner um, planner punch like, like a Philo fax style punch and then maybe another paper pack. I don't have many up-to-date paper packs at the moment, so I need to kind of get those in my craft room so I can carry on playing because I've been doing so much digital paper crafting. So well, there is Crafter's Companion. Getting ideas now. This, this comes with a DVD, CD. That's my card. I mean, I'm, in, I'm in this one but you do get a DVD I think where are all the insides here we go there we go so yeah I think it's a DVD you get I don't think it was included in my box I'll have to uh, find out but it could be they could have changed it yes they've discontinued the DVD and now it's a digital download instead. So let's have a look. Uh, that's my card. I'm just I'm just chit chatting now. So oh, here we are. There's mine. So I had a London theme, and they got these two here as well. So that is one of the digital downloads and I think there's a few other paper collections as well so that all the information will be in the magazine on where to get those from so and you also get that as well this is available at the moment from craft stash as well it's in the magazine section in the box kit section you get a stencil you get lovely sentiments as well and this beautiful flower dye as well and then the magazine too with all of these downloads I'm trying to get find to see if they have a digital download section on the digital elements and papers so we have one here this is a space theme 
Got lovely bright colours there. And then you have the London theme and the travel theme with the hot air balloons. So there's quite a few in there. So if you want me to do um, a video on this one, crafting with the digital papers and some of the bits and bobs from here, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do that. August is looking to be a little, little, little bit quieter than July. But I have a feeling September is going to be manic again because I will be having another collection coming out and it's going to be my Christmas collection. Christmas! Christmas! Did someone say Christmas? So yes, my brand new Christmas collection will be out in a few weeks time. So I'm really super excited for that one. So that's going to be another couple of launches. So we'll be having like the Facebook uh, Facebook Live launch, possibly Hechanda as well. So, yes. So, could Debbie say more the better? Debbie say, can't get enough of the demos? Thank you. I wish I could do so much more, but with lockdown, I have, I'm literally spread out everywhere because I'm a mum look after the house. We've got chickens. Yes, I've got Mr. G, but Mr. G does what Mr. G does. Mrs. G does what Mrs. G does. You know, we do we do share alike, but we're both working from home full time. So um, everything has to have their little piece of me. So um, yeah, <laughs> it's been hard, but the kids do go back to school in September, which will free up a lot of space, filming space, which I'm looking forward to. So. I've already got a massive list of things I want to get done in September but I'm really impressed with myself that I managed to get I think it was four videos three or four videos for Christmas in July in July I managed to do that and do everything else as well so I think that's probably why I had to take a bit of time out it was just so so busy the traveling and stuff so but yeah it looks uh, set to be for September again for another launch. Yes, I can't wait for Christmas too. So yeah, so this new Christmas collection, it's, it's, I really love this one. I really love this one. We had so much fun planning this one. And um, it took me a good two weeks, I think, to get all of my prototypes done and then get them digitalized and then decide on all the extra things that we could fit onto the die set after the main structure but yeah there's a whole process in in the design just from the concept to the um prototype stage and everything but yep yeah, i'm having papers as well there's gonna be a 12 by 12 paper pad as well so i'm just really loving loving that too i just can't wait for it all to arrive with me and start making my samples you're all gonna love it I'm gonna say you're all gonna love it it's typically because um, I love Christmas it's well I think Christmas I think is one of my strong points it's what I do best um, so this collection will not disappoint that's what I'm gonna say you won't be disappointed with this collection it's gonna be fa fantastic lots of fun very Christmassy I really can't tell you what they are but I want to <laughs> So yes, so if you love planners and mini albums, I'm going to be concentrating on that primarily on this channel now. Um, I will be popping in a few gift boxes and bags and things, but my first love is and has always been memory keeping. So um, I'm sure a lot well, throughout the years on my, my channel where I've had massive surges of subscribers it's normally after a mini album tutorial or something like that so most of my followers are into memory keeping and um, scrapbooking and mini albums and stuff so primarily that's what I'm going to be concentrating on so if you don't want to miss out on any of new ones make sure you're subscribed there's an icon just to the bottom right there you just click on that that will subscribe you and if you're really obsessed click the notifications and the bell as well. I hardly ever advertise that or mention it, but if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. And then you'll be notified when I go live as well. So yeah, I'm really excited about Christmas. Just think Christmas planners. 
Christmas planners. I think I've already started to think about my Christmas planner already because I've definitely started to buy stuff for Christmas already. I don't want to be caught out if we go into another lockdown. So at least everyone I know has one present. That's better than nothing so far. So yeah, people I know I buy presents for, they've all got one each so far. And if that's the best I can do, that's the best I can do. So okay so i'm going to be popping off now so don't forget there is 40 percent off let's get those posters up again 40 percent off everyday journaling that ends midnight tonight and then we have the fantastic discount i'm going to be going shopping after this i think we have the fantastic discount that Craft Stash do every now and then. When they do it, I advertise it on all of my platforms, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook. Here it is. So that's 15% off, 25% off, 30% off. So I always try to go for the 30% off because that's the maximum as well. So those are always fun. And if you need those codes again, those are uh, save 15, save 25 and save 30 as well. So I think that's it. I have no idea what's coming up over the next week. I'm literally just getting um, myself back into this. So um, what would you like to see next? You guys are my, my followers really. You watch what my videos, you like the stuff I do or you don't like the stuff I do. So I want to make stuff that you like to watch so uh, what would you like to see next if you're watching on the replay pop that into the comments as well I will read through everything and then I shall make a decision um, I still haven't done all of the tutorials yet for my most recent collection which is the snapshot so I have the camera to do I keep getting asked about the camera um, there is a tutorial on the craft stash YouTube channel um, that was from the live last week that I did uh, Friday I did the the memory cards and the memory decks cards fishing stuff out now I did the memory cards here so we have the track there and I did the camera as well so there's full tutorials on there but yeah, I do have a nice stack of things that I need to get through as well on showing you guys how to make things. But I'm all open for ideas as well. Your ideas do help me along because I like to kind of, you know, create content that you're going to watch really. Ah, me too. I'm just like that. Journals, planners, albums with tons of pockets and tux, uh, tuck spots. Definitely, Sherry. You're definitely. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of shopping now. I'm going to get that 30% off and then I'm going to sit outside in the garden it's nice and dark it's nice and cool sit out in the garden and maybe maybe watch some YouTube I think that that's, that sounds like a nice enjoyable Saturday evening so thank you everyone for joining me today um, I hope you really like this album I'm going to take some pictures of these and that looks really nice so far I really like that that's gonna make a nice present and I've popped in as we're building this up it's getting thicker and thicker it's not a, it's not a thin gym anymore okay so thank you everyone for joining and i will see you again very very soon hopefully again next saturday so i'll see you later